Hello, and thank you for tuning in to the Math Guy. Today we'll be looking at rule of sums and rule of products. Our first problem today reads, our library has 40 books on cars and 70 books on cosmetology. How many different ways can students learn about one or the other of these topics? So in this problem, they're going to be learning about cars or cosmetology. Okay? So, we look, they have 40 books on cars, they have 70 books on cosmetology, and if you know what the word or means in math, so this is math lingo, or means add. So basically this is going to be a rule of sums product. What it means is when you have a probability or you're looking at one or another of things happening, you add. You add the two numbers. So we're trying to learn about cars or cosmetology. So we take the number of options for cars, we add it to the number of ways for cosmetology. We take 40 and we add to 70, we get 110. This gives us 110 ways for these students to learn about either cars or cosmetology. Our second problem today reads, the drama club is holding tryouts for a spring play. Six men and 12 women are auditioning for the leading male and female roles. How many ways can the casting director fill the two lead roles? In this case, we're casting a leading male and a female. This is going to fall under the example of a rule of products. In the last problem we saw was a rule of sums. If we saw the word or, we added. In this case, if we see the word and, it falls under the example of a rule of products, which means product, we multiply. So for this, we want male, a one male role, and a female role. So we look at it just like last time. We have six men, 12 women, so we have for female, 12. And the word and, just like I said up here, means that we multiply. So we have 6 times 12. So we do 6 times 12, we get 72. There are 72 ways to pick one male and one female out of these 18 people. So there are 12, 72 ways for the casting director to fill the two lead roles. Our last problem for today reads, how many different ways can four books be arranged on a shelf? In this problem, we're looking at the fact that we have four books. And we want to put them on a bookshelf. So basically, because we have four books, we have this whole bookshelf, there's actually only four spots for these books to go in order. Okay? The first book, the second book, the third book, and the fourth book. Okay? So what we have to do, we can start breaking it down and saying, okay, let's look at this. We have four books. We can put four books on the first spot. Well, if we have one of the four books there, we can only have three here. There can only be two here. There can only be one here. So there's four here, and three here, and two here, and one here. Because we use the word and, and means to multiply, we simply have a rule of products problem. But it's more applied this time. So we have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2. So we have 12 times 2 is 24. There's 24 ways to arrange these four books on a shelf. Thank you for tuning in today to the Math Guy. I hope you learned a lot. Remember to check back soon for more problems by me.